medicinal herbal directive which guarantees that you will not have access to the full range of herbal products, medicinal products that you need to have if you choose not to use drugs needs to be re-examined. The entire position of the European Union and its member states toward so-called alternative medicine needs to be re-examined as part of this total picture. And in the same way, in the same way that we are the mainstream, there is nothing alternative about alternative medicine. It is good medicine practiced by a few. Conventional medicine using toxins, some of which you're going to hear about later, is the alternative and it is the, pure, the poor alternative any place except an emergency room. And if you want to fight for your future and your children's future, then you must combine these things in your mind and fight for them using the political and the personal action process. So where can you sign this letter? I'm so glad you asked. There are two websites. The first is infokrieg.tv, Alex's website. And right now, I'd like you all to join me in thanking Alex for his work, his brave, determined, vitally important work. Ich möchte, dass ihr mir dankt für meine Arbeit. And the second website is ours, globalhealthfreedom.org. We will be working together to help Europe follow this procedure and then to follow the next step, which we'll need your support in, because every country in Europe and the European Union can move away from codex without fear of WTO sanctions if they follow the process that we have discovered. That process is called the codex two-step process and it allows any country in the world to deviate from what codex does if they do it following the proper step. And we'll be sharing that. We have a, a book. Right now it's only in English, but Alex, who has nothing else to do, is going to translate it into German. By the way, volunteers are essential. Volunteers are essential. There's so much to do. We need everyone's help in many skills. Um, that book is available to show governments how to step, set aside Codex and move toward healthy and protective food policies. And we'll be talking about that as we go forward using the website and the, uh, the newspaper of this organization. But the first thing is be determined to produce your own food. We'll help you with that. And be determined to bring Europe to a point of food and health freedom. Um, I'm looking to see what, it, what else is in my presentation. Uh, you will see a mouse warrior. You see the mouse warrior? The internet is our tool. Many of us don't have internet in our homes. We have access to internet in many different places, but the internet spreads information the way nothing else does. Um, we're going to have to have people who volunteer to translate the material that we set out for their colleagues. This is all doable, okay? All of you are invited to become part of the army. This is an army that uses no bullets. This is an army that does not kill. In fact, this is an army for life, of life, and of love. We do. Thank you. Thank you so much. Herzlichen Dank für die für den Mut, all das auszusprechen. Danke auch, Alex, für die Übersetzung.
Rima, you talked about um, you talked about some key individuals who uh, started not just Codex but started modern medicine. I mean, it seems to be a contradiction. Well, what happens if uh, the pharmaceutical industry kills off all the, the consumers? Well, here comes in the people above the industry. Um, it, is, it seems confusing and contradictory on the face of it. And I, wanted to, make, and I wanted to make two comments. Uh, so I'm very glad that you asked that question. The first comment is that in a consumer-based economy, what we're talking about makes no sense. In a consumer-based economy, you want more people to buy more things. But you remember in my talk that I talked about the neo-feudalists. We are moving toward a new economy. You may notice that the economy that we've all grown up with and understand is in its death throes. And this is no accident. This is engineered, carefully engineered over a very long period of time. The new feudalism does not need consumers. The new feudalism, which has been predicted for hundreds of years, needs three classes of people. The new feudalism, as defined by the new feudalists, needs, first of all, the neo-aristocrats. The second class is their servitors, their servants, their serfs. And the third class is their technicians. In their insane planning, that, compromise, that comprises about 10% of the world's current population. Now, if they have their way, and I have treated, as a physician, I have treated a reigning monarch who explained that this was the plan that she was raised with. She was not a young woman. And the plan, the plan is underway. We have the power to stop it. I wanted to make one other point, and that was about what you were saying, John. In the United States, and you know that very often bad things come from the United States and spread to Europe and the rest of the world. In the United States, there was a law enacted which was signed into law by the twice unelected president of the United States. Yes. That law is called the New Freedoms Initiative. The New Freedoms Initiative, signed into law in November 2004, says the following. It says, every child in the United States, including unborn children, must be screened for mental illness. Let me butt in there. This was a study done by the George Bush's Institute for Mental Health in Texas. That's right. Diesel. Which was built by Eli Lilly and Company. And uh, one more thing. I attended a, a, a meeting in 2007 in Job Berlin. On. I was invited there by the members of the Green Party and I was supposed to say something, I don't know what. But as soon as I started speaking, they cut me off because there was a group of psychiatrists begging the government for money to perform exactly what Rima just said. And that's why I'm telling you, but there's more. Step one, screen every child, including the unborn, by screening their mothers for mental illness. Step two, let me just finish the steps. Okay. Step two, treat on a mandatory basis every child who is found to have, quote, God help us, mental illness, which means every child. And step three, screen and treat on a mandatory basis every single person who has any contact with children because we have to protect the little deers. That means mothers, fathers, shopkeepers, school teachers, grandparents, neighbors, everyone. Does that answer your question? Um. So first we control, first we control and we make ill because every drug requires more drugs 
which require more drugs and more drugs, and then eventually we depopulate. Alex, thank you very much. Is that okay with your question? It's, it gets more scaring and uh, it gets to more relations than you ever thought.